Floss Two. My name is Jennifer. I'm the Calculated Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 20th and I don't know how long it's been since I've videoed. A couple of weeks maybe, maybe three. I do have a uh, giveaway that I drew for. I drew for it a few days ago but I'm gonna just put it in somewhere in this video. Um, I also have, my daughter was here, it's a Sunday, she came over and went to church with us and so she brought her stuff that she had been working on, her needle point and um, one cross stitch project. I don't think she shows it in there because uh, it's for my Christmas gift, I'm very excited. Um, I can't remember if she showed it or not, it's just a little clip and I'm going to put that in this video as well. So uh, since I saw you last. Uh, school. We've had school. That's the main thing that's been going on in my life. Uh, Liz, um, the Wandering Stitcher, came and we had a uh, retreat, just the two of us. So it was great. I'll show you some of the stuff. And um, that's pretty much it. And then school. So that's about my whole life right now. Uh, this coming weekend is our Halloween carnival. I think they call it fall festival now. When I was in school, it was called the Halloween Carnival. And so um, we, we have a very small school and each class, there's only one in each grade, one class per grade level. And um, each, so each grade level has a booth and um, we have a parade. It's just, you know, small town in Texas. And so um, my grandson may be coming and I, I think my son and his wife, my youngest, will be coming as well. So it's going to be a great weekend. I'm very excited. So I wanted to get video today um, because I know I will not have time next uh, weekend because we'll be doing that and have the grandbaby. So let's just get right into it. Um, whips. So let me show you my whips. One I started since I saw you was this Shannon Christine. And this is the Gingerbread Express. And it's not something normally that I would want to stitch, but I saw it um, on a video. I think it was the Fat Quarter Shops video. And I was surprised how much I liked it. Um, I just thought it very, it looked very retro when they showed it. Like the colors looked like very 50s, 60s-ish kind of colors. And um, I just thought it was so cute. And so now look at these, this floss though. Those are not my colors, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay because when you start stitching it, it's mainly the white and the brown with just little pops of color. I haven't even gotten to any of the colors other than white and brown. Where's my little, hold on. I brought one of these so I could hold it behind. So this is how far I've gotten. And I'm stitching this on 18 count perforated paper that I coffee dyed. And I have it just um, tacked to uh, stretcher bars. So I just tacked it to some stretcher bars that I got at Wendy's, the Tinsmith's wife. So that's, that's as far as I've gotten. It's really cute. It's so cute. I really love this. So. I have uh, keepsakes is going to send them as they come in. Um, last time when I ordered them, they said they sent me the ones that had been released and as they release, they'll send me the rest of them. So, so that is one of my whips. Another whip is um, a quilt that I'm working on. And this is Constitution. It is a log cabin-esque quilt. It's put together a little bit differently. Um, this is it right here in the whole thing. This is a primitive gathering. So anything primitive gatherings I love. It's in one of their older books, Stars and Stripe Gatherings. So this isn't the most recent red, white, and blue. It's the one before that. Uh, this is 2018. So this one's from 2018. So Liz, the Wandering Stitcher, is also making this quilt. Um, it's her first, she's made two quilts, but I think this is her first, like this kind of quilt. 
So, how if that makes any sense. And her friend Debbie is also making it. I think she's making hers from scraps that she has at her house. So, um, this is how far I've gotten. I've just made a, all of the, um, I've done three rounds. I started them last night and then I had a friend's birthday party, had her 50th birthday. And um, so we, I had to go to her birthday and so I, that's as far as I got. So today, when I finish the video, I'm gonna go, I'm hoping to get two more rounds put on today. Um, I would like to have this one done quickly. I've also been cutting out my Scandinavian quilt that I'm doing with Kippy, the academic stitcher. Um, and the fig tree, I'm stitching that one together. I didn't bring it, uh, the block of the month. I'm doing that one with Kippy as well. And um, so I'm trying to get caught up because Kippy, you know, she stays right on top of her her goals that we have set are, that I talked about previously. She stays right on hers. I'm still way behind, but that's okay. I haven't marked them off though. I do have to go back on and um, Kippy created a, it's like a Google share drive. And so we add and we can cross out as we finish them. And so I need to do that because I have finished some of my stuff. Kippy, I have finished some of it. So that was another whip. And then another one that I worked on since I saw you was this wool table runner and table topper, I guess more. Um, this was in our um, wool box subscription box from Primitive Gatherings. And um, I have it all prepped, except for the circles. They're like the little berries right here. I don't have those on here because I wanna do the uh, embroidery first, but I do have it all prepped. Isn't it pretty? I'm so excited. I really wanna get this one done because uh, we have a new table. I don't know if I talked about it. My husband picked it up. And so it's going to go perfectly on this table. So I do need to get this one stitched up. Where did I have this? So that's another whip that I have to show you. Then I have, I have to think about what I have here. Okay. Then I have, and I talked about this last time. Um, and I used, I, I gave the wrong information. Now, um... Emma, Emma C. Makes does do a joined hexagonal crochet quilt. So she does. But the one I actually followed is from Cherry Heart. So I will um, link that one here because that's actually the one that I'm using. So I am making a hexagonal crochet quilt. Um, now, you know, no time soon. But I'm making them like little hexagonal, like rosettes, like for a grandmother's flower garden. And I'm using, I'll just pull one of them out. It's called Happy Place and um, TL Yarn Crafts. Tony is her name. She has a YouTube channel, which I uh, linked last time and I'll link it again. She has a new, um, I don't know if it's called a yarn line. Um, I don't know what they call it, but it was just released. So it's a thicker, heavier yarn. Like, I don't know the different names of them. I think this one is a worsted weight. Um, sometimes they give you the number. Sometimes they tell you if it's like fingering worsted. I think like it's lace and then fingering and then worsted. I have it written down. I have it written down, but I just don't have it memorized. Um, hold on one second. Let me see if I can find the number. There's usually a number on these um a three it says three light right here right there so anyway i have a whole bunch of different colors and so i'm going to make and i'm going to put yellow in the center of all of them like a grandmother's flower garden and then i'm going to pick two colors that are somewhat the same um like I'm gonna put these two together. So one's like a lighter version of the other one. So kinda. Anyway, we're gonna see how it goes, if I like it or not. Um, I have a gray color that I got to do the um, background, but I may change that and just pick out like a cream color. I haven't decided. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of rosettes like this and then decide what color to put around them. 
So I have one whole rosette made. So that's one. And then I finished that one today um, between church and Sunday school. Then this is, um, I don't have the paper, but I have this one. Hold on. This is, Liz taught me how to do this on our retreat. This is the brand of yarn that she likes, and it is 100% um, Pima cotton, and it's to make, uh, and this one's a four medium, it says. This one is to make uh, washcloths, and so I started, she even brought me the neat, knitting needles, and um, so you can see I'm in the middle of a, a row right now. So it's going to be a, isn't it cute? I made a mistake right here, you can see it. I dropped stitches, I was showing somebody, and so it's kinda got a mess up right there, but it's okay, it's gonna be mine, nobody's gonna know. Um, so I have to, unfortunately, she had to go back home before she could show me how to decrease. She's explained it to me and I've already forgotten, so I'm gonna have to call her and she's gonna have to explain it to me again, but it's okay. So we uh, made, uh, well, she showed me how to make washcloths and I got this far on it. So it's fun, I like this one. Um, it's, and it's very easy and portable. I have it in one of my Mabel bags. Um, very portable, super easy. All right, let me put that one down there. I got two other colors. Oh no, I put that one in there. I got two colors when I was at the Tinsmith's Wife to make washcloths as well. I thought this one would be really good um, if you're taking your makeup off because it's that dark color. And then I thought one of my daughters, she doesn't watch this, so I thought she might like some um, made in this color. It kind of reminded me of her. So I thought I would make some for stockings this year. So that's also a, uh, a piece of haul, but I thought it was appropriate right here. So I'm gonna throw it down there in that bag. All right, now I'm looking around. Oh yes, so when Liz was here, um, we she brought me gifts. I had some gifts for her as well. And um, one of the things that I bought for us both was this tomato scissor fob. And it's so cute. It's so very cute right here. And um, it comes with everything to make the whole the whole fob. The tomato instructions, everything. And our goal was to get it done, but we got a lot of stuff done when she was here, but we didn't totally finish this one. I did finish my stitching, and uh, let me put it on this design board. Um, this is by Sampler Bird Stitchery. I don't think I said that. And um, this is the front, this is the back, and it comes with everything. So it comes with all the, the floss you need, and it has the filling for it. I mean, it just has, it has everything in there. It has the hardware. It's just, it's a complete kit. So, and this, I finished the stitching. Now, I did it on the fabric that they sent, and I think it was probably 32. It's very loose. Um, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to use a, like, a 46 or something, which is what I would have liked to have done because it would have just been, I think, too small. It needed to be bigger. So I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay. And um, so now I need to fully finish this or send it to Jan. <laughs> One of the two. I'm going to try to fully finish it. Okay. So I think I'm looking. Oh, no, no, no. There's one more. Okay. So uh, Susan Stanley. If you do not watch her floss tube, you really need to watch hers. Hold on one second. Sorry, allergies are crazy here. Cedar. Um, and it's been so hot. Poor Liz. Up in Ohio, I think it was in the, um, what did she tell me? It was like in the 60s or 50s. In I don't know. She came here and it was in the 90s. <laughs> So I felt really badly for her. And then the day after she left, it was like 72 was the high the next day. 
So we went, we had three days that it was in the 70s and I had the windows open. It was wonderful. 60s in the morning, 70s during the day. Well, now it's going to be back up to like 88 again, but that's okay. It's all right. Eventually, you know, winter will get here or what we call winter. So Susan Stanley. Wow. Got to get backwards. So Susan Stanley. Wonderful, wonderful floss tube. And I love that she does these... Um, she kind of writes a historical fiction kind of to go along with her um, uh, sew-alongs that she's doing. And so right now she has one that's Coralis. And the project, oh, you know what? It's in the other, well, I can show you this part. So I've been making Hexagon. So I ordered the kit from her once. She had more because I found out about it after it had already been started and they were all sold out. So I've just made, been making a bunch of one inch hexagons um, to make a quilt that she's doing. And you can just get the, um, the pattern, it's very inexpensive, like a PDF. And I have a bunch of white ones as well. They're in my little, I keep them in this little shaker box right here. So um, anyway, it's, I love, I love hexagons doing the English paper piecing. So uh, she's doing this. I'm going to show you. This is part of haul as well. But um, so this is Coralis. And so she gets like the pictures. They're off a, um, what do they call it? It's like there's no copyright on it. A copyright free website. Anyway, and so it's not actual little, well, she was an actual little girl, but it's not. She's making up a story about this little girl's life, and it has to do with um, very accurate, authentic ways in which they would have sewn. So it's just really interesting. And she even sent this sticker, and I'm gonna put it in my junk journal. I'm very excited, it's so cute. This will go in my junk journal as well. It's like a postcard. But, so I ordered the kit. Now this, They've already started, the people who started, you know, on time. Um, this is for the uh, border around the inside. So like the inside border-ish, I guess. And so I'm still working on the very inside of the quilt. I don't think I have a picture of it. I thought there was one in here, but there's not. So the inside is all hexagons. And then this is gonna be the border that goes around it. So when I ordered from her, I went ahead and ordered a couple other things. I'll show you now since I'm doing this. Um, I got some Swaa Surfine. These are dark blues. I wanted some Swaa Surfine. I think it's a hundred, it's like a hundred three, a Swaa Surfine and a Perlay, maybe. Anyway, I wanted the Swaa Surfine. So when I do over one on 40 or 46, <coughs> I have it. These are all Swasser fiends, and they're, it's like a black, a dark gray, and a, a darker brown, a grayish brown. I also have ordered from her reds as well. I figure those are basic ones that I can do the over one, like verses and stuff that should cover me with the colors. Um, she also had this, and I went ahead and got it. I love Mother of Pearl, and this is... Um, a thread winder that she had and I absolutely love it. I'm going to use it uh, for a project that I'm going to start pretty soon. I'll show you later. So that, that was my purchase from Susan Stanley. She keeps talking about how she has something else coming out. So I'm very excited. I keep stalking her website. Um, I'm also uh, subscribed to her newsletter so if you want to get updates on her her site you want to join her newsletter okay i think now those are all of my whips so hold on one second and i'm going to move some of this stuff around and then i'm going to go over fully finishes fully finished items and um my haul and my retreat i'll be right back okay Sorry about that. Um, my daughter called too, so I did get some stuff put away. Uh, so I want to show you some of my fully finishes, fully finished items that uh, Jan Calvert had um, finished for me. Liz brought them with her uh, so they didn't have to get mailed. And so it was very exciting. So one thing that she brought back 
was this one, which I think is Summer in Baltimore. And I think it's Brenda Gervais, but I can't remember for sure. And then this is the inside. Oh my gosh, isn't it so cute? And look at the back, how she finished it. And then the bottom. Oh, it's just really, really cute. Is Summer in Baltimore Brenda Gervais or Blackbird? I can't remember. So I have that one that she finished. And then look at this one. Oh, and it's like, it's just so... Okay, so it looks like this. Oh, I didn't get the chart out. This one I um, bought some silk. It's just a variegated silk. I don't even remember what it is. And it was supposed to be taller, but I didn't like all of it. And so I just did this part of it. And then um, I had stitched this. Look, I finished it in 2021. And look what Jan did. Isn't this just the cutest idea and the most beautiful fabric she chose? It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I love it. I love drums. So I asked her if she would make a drum. And then this one, I'm sure everybody knows what it is. And I'm pretty sure it's Brenda Gervais. It's either Brenda Gervais or Blackbird, I'm assuming. Um, it's this one. <laughs> I don't remember it. I'll put it here. It's in, I have a box. I guess I could go get it. Um, I finished it in 23, 2023. I have my initials here, J, K. But she made it into the drum. I think this is Brenda Jure, yes. And then she even made the little pedestal, the little red one for it. I think this is the happy birthday. USA, because it's like a cake, isn't it? Isn't this the cake stand? I don't know what she called it. I don't know, but it's a drum, and it is absolutely beautiful. Jan does the most amazing work. I sent two more things um, back with Liz. So um, I told her I wasn't in a hurry. It didn't have to be done like by Christmas or anything, because I'm sure everybody's like in wanting theirs done now, and mine doesn't have to be. It was just... I have stuff in a box, and I thought, well, I might as well send some and see if she'll do those, too. So, anyway, thank you, Jan. I love them. I think you are one of the most talented people I've ever met. It's just amazing. So, um, okay, so Liz and I decided to have a friend retreat, and so she came and stayed with me. I picked her up Thursday, and she stayed until Tuesday. And um, it was wonderful. We went Friday uh, to Comfort, to the Tinsmith's wife, and then we just stayed here at my house the rest of the time. I mean, we went and ate, uh, met up with her brother and her sister-in-law, who were just very sweet people. And um, anyway, we just had a lot of fun. She had things she wanted to do, like eat barbecue, because when you're in Texas, eat barbecue. Um, anyway, so I try to get everything checked off her list. I think we were one short. There was one thing we didn't get done. Um, but she'll talk about that, I'm sure. But so f when she got here, I had this in her room. And so, of course, of course, hers said Liz on it. And mine says Jennifer. But I called it the Utopia Retreat of 2024 because I live in Utopia. So it was our retreat. And so we got, I had these made for us, and um, it's a really cute bag. I got it off of Etsy. So anyway, I'm not going to show you all the stuff that I gave her, but um, I am going to show you things that she gave me. She made this English paper pieced um, pin cushion. And isn't it gorgeous? It's French General Fabrics. And she hand-pieced the whole thing. And she did a beautiful job. I just love it. And every day she had like a little thing for me set out. It was just the sweetest thing. She did not have to do that. And But we had so much fun. That I enjoyed that more than any retreat I've gone to. It's just... It's fun to hang out with your friends. I really like that. Like, I like the small, like, a small retreat. Big retreats, 
I don't do well in crowds anyway, and so it was just wonderful. So I wish that, you know, we could all just have little small retreats together. You know, all the, it, I don't know. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. She had this bag made for me. Isn't it gorgeous? Look how pretty it is. And she has one that's blue, and all of this is pieced. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And she made this pull. This is a uh, macrame. She made it for me. And so um, I put it on there for the zipper pull. She brought me, I had asked her, she was going to get it at, she works at a quilt shop and um, she gets a discount. So I asked her if she would pick up uh, some yardage of the Primitive Gatherings uh, flannel and they're like little sheep, and uh, she brought it to me and wouldn't let me pay her, so that was a gift as well. So cute. And she made this. I love this too. This is um, Kathy Holden fabric. I'm pretty sure it looks like hers anyway. And it's like a little pouch. Isn't it cute? I love this. So I love things like that, and especially anything homemade. She gave me this beautiful bookmark, so now I can put it in my Bible. I'm very excited. I needed it today during church. Um, she brought me, oops, that was a card. She brought me this cute, whoa, don't fall. This cute, which way does it go? This way. <laughs> Notebook, which is perfect. I love it. I love all the old books. And some Cupid doll stickers. Look at those little fat cheeks or little fat legs. Ugh, those are going to be cute in my junk journal as well. She also brought me a little zipper charm from Lady Dot Creates. Yes. She brought me this cute little tin. I love these. I have one of these. Not that one, but I'm going to put it up in my... It's in a whatnot shelf like this in my sewing room. And she gave me a little waxer. With little bees. It looks like a bee. Is this a bee skep or a beehive? I don't know the difference, but it's cute. I think it's a skep. It smells really good, too. Okay. Looks like you could burn it as a candle, but I certainly wouldn't do that. It's just going to sit cute on my whatnot shelf now. Then she stitched this, and Jan made it into, like, a little pouch for me. I love this. Oh, I love this so much. So she did one with blonde hair since I have mine highlighted. And then this is her. And I just love this. And of course, I didn't finish the one I was stitching for her. but And it's like a little needle. You put your needles here, needle pouch. And then she brought me a Cincinnati. I collect um, license plates wherever I go. Um, when I go on trips and we go through states, I collect them. And then this I love. I'm so excited about this. I know this is kind of silly probably, but it like, I'm always having to look up. Now, what does the one for quilting look like for a Schmetz? Because they have these different colored um, stripes on them. So if it's not in its package, you can tell what it is. And so now I don't have to look it up on my phone. I can just look in my little book. I'm very excited. She also brought me a tape measure from her quilt shop. So, very excited. But that's what was in here. So, I had stuck those in there. And that's where they're probably going to live. The, the needle book. So, oh, there's my dryer. Excuse my dryer. Okay, so let me put this back in here. So, I don't lose any of it. So, when she was here... One of the things that I gave her was, um, well, both of us, 
was a chart because when you go to a retreat, usually you have a chart. And so the one that I picked for us, let me put that here, was this one. It's a pansy patch quilt. And it's this one right here. And it says where friendships are formed, or friend, no, no, wait. Where friendships are formed with needle and thread. And it says retreat house. And I thought, oh, that's so cute. So I'm determined to have this done. We're gonna do this retreat again next year. We've already decided. And um, so I really would like to have this done for us. Uh, not for us, but for, to have it finished by the next retreat. So I've gotta get this one started. I have not started it yet. I may have to go turn that off. Okay, so that's one of the things that I have given her. Um, I'm looking around. Okay, so in the mail, let me talk about this. I received, I ordered two of the Hands Across the Sea calendars because this is how I'm going to do my um, stitching journal next year. Well, part of it. Anyway, in my head, I think I'm going to do this. I ordered two because um, they're, it's like August is on one side and then May is on the back. So you flip it around. And so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use both sides of it the way I'm going to do it. So I just had to work with it. So um, I did. I ordered two of these. So that I need to get two. From 123 Stitch, I ordered... I'm not sure how to say this. Siddlewick? Kittlewick? Anyway green and I just absolutely love this I mean I love Karen Kluba's stuff anyway but I just think this is beautiful I love the color of the the linen I love everything about it what is this um, just one second surely it'll tell me smart across one moment. Oh, here we go. Under the Sea Fabrics Aztec. So I need to see if I can find some of that. It says 32 count. I don't want 32 count. Hopefully I can find some 46 maybe. Oh, it's just beautiful. And um, it's stitched in Weeks Dye Works. So pretty. And if not, I can use... Um, I have some... I think... Fiber on a Whim, the gold, what is that one called? Something gold. And I had some Lakeside Autumn Gold, um, if I can find it, if I, because I started stitching something on it, but it was a big piece. So anyway, that would look pretty on there. Plum Street Penny Autumn. I told myself, I really, I don't do a lot of seasonal stitching and maybe I need to start. I mean, I don't know why I need to start. But I just, you know, Plum Street, you can't go wrong. And I love penny rugs, and that's what it kind of reminds me of. So it's really pretty. I have the Plum Street Autumn Stars started that I should. I'm not a, like, stitch in the season kind of person either. So, I mean, I've been stitching on Christmas stuff. So I just do whatever. Uh, a lot of patriotic, been doing a lot of patriotic, so. Uh, then I ordered some 46 count uh, old gold. Oh, this is it, the fiber on a whim, old gold. It's 46 count because I wasn't sure if I had 46 count. I thought this color would be somewhat like this one, but this one's like a little orangier. And so if, the, if I can find the Aztec, I'm gonna order that one. But if not, I think it'll look good on this one. So, yeah. See, this one's more gold. This one's more pumpkin-y. Oh, it's so pretty. Those colors are so pretty on there. Okay. Then I got a 36-count Vintage Country Mocha. And this is to stitch over one on. I don't like 36-count at all. Um, but I do like Vintage Country Mocha for over one stitching because it is... Um, 
it's uh, it's not an even weave, but it it looks like one. Like they're very, the fibers are very uniform. This is murky, it's 28 count. And I just got a little piece. I was really hoping more of it would look like this because that's the color I really wanted. But this has like big brown splotches, which is sad. But um, I was hoping for more of the like grayer color like that's over here. Anyway, I, this will be for over one stitching as well. So it'll be small pieces so I can, you know, kind of pick and choose. Anyway, I've been buying more of the lower counts for my over one stitching because I really do enjoy that. Um, Liz bought, brought me a piece of linen. I don't know if it's labeled. I can't remember what she said this one is. I think it's a fox and rabbit. I don't remember the color, but it is so beautiful. And um, it's like a fat half kind of a goldy color. It's not coming out very well here. It has a like a gold undertone, but then it has like a pink kind of, I don't know what it, I'll have to ask her what it is and put it right here. Hopefully I'll remember. It's not labeled. I don't see it. And she told me, and of course I've forgotten. So that was another thing that she gave me. And Liz, if I've forgotten anything, I'm sorry. You know me. Okay. So while she was here, we did go to the Tinsmith's Wife. And so while I was there, of course, and this is the trip with her and I have some stuff when I went a previous time. Now, a previous time I went, hold on, I'm gonna turn off this fan. Oh, this is another thing I bought because Liz showed it to me. Amazon, like it was on sale for $6.99. It goes like this and sits and it's hot here. <laughs> So, it's really nice to have when you get hot. It's just, it's so portable. Anyway, Amazon. Wonderful purchase. Um, I can't remember if I showed this last time with my daughter. I feel like I did. But just in case I didn't, this is a um, needlepoint canvas. And it is beautiful. And to me, it's very, I'm pretty sure I showed this. But it was still in my box. So, I, was, I thought maybe I didn't. Um... It looks like a sampler so that's the reason I got it and so it was painted by birds of a feather so it's from their design company and so that was another reason I wanted it and so I did kit it up with all of the floss whatever they call it needlepoint I don't know if they call it floss fibers I don't know what they call it Anyway, it's kitted, so ready to go. I have other things to do, but I have that. Um, I also got this in the mail. This is called Etchings, and I got it from the Woolen Needle. And I really don't want to take it out, so I'm just going to show it to you like this. It is such a pretty quilt. These are all wool applique, the flowers. The rest of it is cotton. So, and again, this is from the Woolen Needle. I just got it from them. So, they have it as a kit. And that's what I got. I also ordered the, um, they don't do Valdani. This is, what is it called? Something with an E. No, Wonderfill. Wonderfill. Etchings. That's the name of the pattern. So it's just Wonderfill instead of Valdani. Same thing. I went ahead and got that. So it's all kitted and ready to go. Okay. I'll just move it away for there. So at the Tinsmith's Wife, when I was with Liz, I did... I don't know if she's had these and I never noticed them, but I think they may be new. And so she had two. She had the quick stitch reference and the more quick stitch reference. And they are so good. It's like, like a, a stitch guide. It shows you all the stitches. It's there's, I am so excited. These are gonna live next to my stitching spot um, uh, in my bedroom. So, very excited about that. Then I got, they had, this is actually before I went with Liz, the week before I went, and they had started um, for their 16th anniversary. They've been in business now. Uh, they had a trunk show, and it was, um, no, is that, 
Hold on. Was it color and cotton? That's not it, is it? Maybe this is not from that trip. I don't know. I got these at the Tinsmith's Wife. This one is 32 count vintage pecan butter. And I got a uh, fat quarter, it looks like. So this is Lakeside, 32 count. And this is to do over one stitching. So it's a beautiful color. I got one of these for one of these patterns. These actually I got when I was with Liz. So I know what these are. Okay. This one I just got because it was beautiful and it's going in my stash. This one is 32 count color in cotton Chantilly and it's like a white gray, really light gray, but it has a little bit of brown. I don't know if I can get it to show. But it's very light, and normally I don't like to stitch on light, but I got it to do this chart, which is a Perman Sampler 1830. Isn't it just beautiful? This, oh, just gorgeous. So this one, I got um, some Gloriana Midnight silk, and that's what I'm going to do this one with. So I bought this when Liz was here. So these go together. So I'm going to put them together so I don't forget. Oh, no, I won't. That'll make too much noise. It's fine. I'm just going to put them like that, and I, I will remember. I'm telling myself I will remember. Okay, so then another one I bought was this GGR. Um, this one is Eleonora Kosi, Kosi, I don't know. But look how pretty this is. This right here, I just thought was absolutely beautiful. And this, oh, just, so pretty. And so, um, mm, it's just beautiful. Anyway, okay, stop looking at it. I did get all of the called for colors in here, and they had um, these little bags for their 16th anniversary. So I put them all in the little bag. And um, I was just thinking of something, but never mind. And then this is the fabric that I got to stitch it on. This is 32 count fiber on a whim wheat, and I'm gonna stitch it one over one on this, I think. This one is a more pinky undertone, but when I laid down the, ooh, in here, my lighting is really bad. Um, I like gold undertones anyway better, and um, the the floss looked really good, but I'm going to try it again, and if I don't think so, I, I have plenty of other that I can use, but, and this can go in my stash. I've just been really wanting to do a lot of over one, and everything I'm doing right now is mostly over two, so I bought that for this project. Then this is the MP motif sampler and I thought it was so sweet isn't this this is from the heart needle arts is that what it's called from the heart needle art Wendy does these and I just I think it's the blue that drew me in I do love a sampler with blue and it's just sweet like it's just a little sweet sampler um, 131 by 153 and then I bought the called for Gloriana's that went with it I don't have fabric but I figure I have something I can use in my stash then because Liz was still looking I kept looking and then I found this uh, Lily Violette Bianco Natale I don't know, but look at that blue. Isn't that beautiful? 
this is just oh so pretty and this one calls for DMC so I really like that one I don't do a whole lot of things with snow in them because you don't really get snow you know once every 20 years or so this one is October House Fiber Arts and I love this and I need you to tell me if you know if there is more if there are more than these two if it's like a series this one says live a humble life so this is october house fiber arts and this one says leave uh, live a humble life oh it's so pretty sweet it's sweet i should say it's very sweet this one is lead a quiet life, which I do. And I love this one with the blues in it. And this is October House Fiber Arts. It's so pretty. And I looked, I could not find any more. And it doesn't say that it's like a series anywhere that I saw. But do you see how they're kind of in the same vein, I would say? So... I just didn't know if there were more and they're 2020 and 2019 so they're kind of older so I didn't know if there were any more so if you know if there's some more if you will let me know because I really like those and if there are I would kind of like to put them all together I usually like to put my you know series on one piece okay and then this I bought and then um Liz hadn't seen it and so when I got home she uh, was like, oh, I love that. So she took mine, and then my daughter went by and picked up another copy for me. And this one is Stitches in Red, and this, of course, is Brenda Keys. And if you have not seen this, it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There are so many beautiful projects in here. It's just amazing. And um, I don't know, they're just, I can't, most of them have, charts on the pages but they're just I'm trying to find one mm. I love this right here I don't know if I can do it isn't that cute and then there's a whole big sampler on the other side I can't do it there's a chart at the bottom so it's just there's a whole oh they're just beautiful so this is definitely one that you and then there's also like um, instructions at the back, how to make everything. And so this is a beautiful one, absolutely beautiful. And it's a nice book. Like it's just, it's a great, a great buy. I love that one. Lots of charts inside. Now, when we were at Wendy's, um, Liz saw um, a piece that was stitched on the wall and Wendy said that um, they didn't she didn't think they made it anymore like if you could find it you know for sale in a but she couldn't like order it anymore that she knew of and so um, Liz found it ordered it it was the only one they had so I started looking and then I found it so of course I ordered it uh, it's Erica Michaels and there was another one that was on the wall that I really wanted and she didn't have that one as well so it was the one that I this so this is the one that I saw that I really wanted and it's called to thee my heart and I got these from welcome stitchery from welcome stitchery so this is to thee my heart oh uh, and these are the petite collections I think all of the ones I ordered were and it's just, I'm gonna change the colors. I'm not a big purple person, but I just absolutely love it. Oh, so pretty. This is the one that she saw that she really wanted. And it says, life is woven of people and places you wrap tightly around you. And it's called Life is the title. And it again, by Erica Michaels. I don't wanna take it out because it's in those obnoxious bags. Um, so I think these were probably silk gauze, which I do have some silk gauze. I've never stitched on it, so I'm not sure how that would go. I'd have to watch a YouTube video on it, I'm sure. Then I saw this one and fell in love, and it says, In the quiet moments, trust God. 
and this is Quiet Moments by Erica Michaels. Again, it's a petite collection. Um, originally stitched on 40 count silk gauze. I probably will just stitch these on 46 count, I'm assuming, or maybe over one on a 32 or 36 count. And then I saw this one and fell in love with this one too. So this one is Victory and Peace. Again, Petite Collection by Eric Michaels. So Victory and Peace. Uh, it says, Blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven rescued land praise the power that hath made the pres and preserved us a nation. And then over here it says, In God is our trust. Just love this. Absolutely love this. Love this little scene down here. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now this one comes with this little charm. And um, I'm not sure where that one goes. I'm looking. I don't see it. Oh, it's just, just stuck right here. I don't know if it would work depending on what fabric I use, if the proportions would be correct, but it's there if I need it. Okay, so those were inspired from Wendy, uh, but bought it Welcome Stitchery. Then, oh, I didn't bring it. Uh, this one I bought, I don't remember. Oh, I got this from um, Colorado Cross Stitcher. I ordered this, I'm pretty sure. This is the Sampler Company Salt Box Farm. Oh, Brenda Keys, I'm telling you, she's killing me here. Love it, absolutely love it. So I got that one. I don't know if this is new or does it have a year on it? Doesn't matter. I hadn't seen it before, so. And then uh, Colorado Cross Stitcher is now reprinting Birds of a Feather. And so I she released three. And so I got all three. So this is Christmas Angel Ornament. So, and then Happy Hearts Sampler. which I think I have the original of this one, but I got this one just in case. If it is, then I'll, I'll do a giveaway for this one. And then this one I love, and I wanted this one, I'm very excited. A Joyous Christmas. So I got those from Colorado Cross Stitcher. Then I was on Amazon, and you know they always pop stuff up there. Well, they popped this up. I love Veronique, Veronique Anjanje. Um, so I saw this book, and it's retro. Uh, Five hundred patterns, retro cross stitch, and it is full. It's a really nice hardback book. It is just full of the most adorable charts. I'm trying to see what you see. Isn't that cute? So like this is on the front and then this one's on the back. But it just has, and it's, you know, French, anything French or um, Italian pretty much has my vote, so. I usually like the vibe or the feel, I guess, of the projects. Oh, those are charts. Let's see. Oh, there's such cute stuff. I was trying to find some more that didn't have, oh, look at these sweet ones. There's just a whole bunch. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you these and then I'm gonna, I can't see. Um, here we go. Sorry. Uh, there's these. There's a lot of really cute stuff. So there's like um, travel. There's ones that are travel. There's ones that are like kitchen kind of things. Um, 
just, I love these ladies like this. They have a lot of ladies um, like traveling. It's just beautiful. Anyway, so it's a great book. It was not that expensive when I got it. Um, and I think, I think that's everything. Oh, no, no, no. There's a little bit more. Yarn. I got yarn. So, uh, from Legacy Fiber Arts, I got some sock yarn. Sorry, I'm looking at all the dove that are landing out there. Um, I got some sock sets. So, this is from Legacy Fiber Arts. And this one is called Christmas Vacation. And these are all fingering weight. Um, this one is 7525 superwash merino and nylon so my next pair of socks I would like to have um, a contrasting toe and cuff I don't think I'm going to do um, a contrasting heel yet because I think the heel is the hardest part for me this one is gumdrop alley same fingering weight 75 25 superwash it's just, isn't it beautiful? So, um, this one is Jingle Bells. Still, same count. This one is Midnight Mayhem. Same fingering weight, 75.25. This one is Sweta Weather. <laughs> I think this will be the next one I do. Let's see, Sweda, Weda. <laughs> this one is Shipwreck, which I thought was really pretty as well. So I got those. And then from Yarnable, I joined their monthly subscription. One came, um, I signed up for like a newsletter so it would tell me when there were openings, and they actually had some that opened up. So I'm in their monthly subscription box. And so this is what was sent to me. I got this little bag. I haven't, I hadn't even looked at it yet. I just took it out of the plastic so it would be ready. I got this little bag it came with it. It came with these two cute little pins. And I'm not a Halloween person, but those are stinking cute. They'll be cute at school. There is a facial mask. Oh, I'll be using that one tonight. This is Cauldron Crunch Homemade Toffee Butter. Huh. I'll be giving that to my husband. He loves toffee. I guess it's to eat. Is it to eat? It says butter, cream, milk, salt, pure cane sugar, Oregon hazelnuts, dark chocolate. Sounds like it's me. Oh, yeah, it's toffee. Looks really good. Um, I haven't read this yet because I just got it. Oh, enjoyed it. enjoy an enchanting custom hazelnut toffee. Yes, it's to eat. We're all good. That's cute. Anyway, so there's um, a list of information, but look at this beautiful yarn. Oh my, isn't that beautiful? It says Yarnable by Hypnotic Hypnotic Yarn, and the color is Witch Please. And I get the sock yarn. This one is 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon, and it's 100 grams, 437 yards. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I mean, purple's not my color, but look how deep. Like the deep, I don't mind the deep purple. Okay, so that's beautiful. Oh, I'm very excited about that. Okay, so that's my first Yarnable and subscription. Very excited. Love it. And then the last one, I haven't opened this one yet, except to, I just cut it open just before. Um, this one is my row by row, row one, row one. And so it comes 
like this every month. I think it's cute. It's like stamped on here. All right, so let's see what this month looks like. I love subscription boxes when it's things that I will use. Oh, look how pretty. I love that they send, okay, if you have earbuds in, okay, could you take them out? Just give me one second, turn it down. I'm gonna open this so you can see them, okay? Are you ready? All right, I'll do it fast. Okay, all right, now put them back on. So look, they just send you like these little, I don't know how many grams they are, but they, it's like in, um, dyers, they, like every month, they spotlight a different designer. So this one is one Wonderland Yarns. This one's called Lit Literature Love. This one is Four Million Kisses. This one is Positively Perplexing. This one is Colorful Words. Very literature based here, I guess. Cobweb, maybe not. Um, curiouser, well that sounds like, uh, Alice in Wonderland, God, Jennifer. Uh, Peaceberry is that one. This one is Banshee. This one is, I can't read it, but it's pretty. And then the last one is Pumpkin Flame. So those are all of the little yarns. And I wanted, I think I'm going to do a, um, MSC Makes has a new uh, tutorial up on making little um, granny squares and joining them as you go. I will uh, put that, I will link it below if you're interested in it. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do with these. Like I need to pick a color for the background and then I'm going to use these um, up and make little granny squares and just connect them as I go. And that's what I'll do every month. So aren't they cute? Oh, they're so cute. Or maybe I'll just do solid gra granny squares. I don't know. I'll think about that. So th that's my, um, what's it called? Row one yarn. That's what it's called. Oh, those are cute. All right. They also sent this little package. Let's see what's in here. It has a little sticker on it. And here is, ooh, a Kit Kat, Ghost Toast. So it's a Kit Kat called Ghost Toast. And then, ooh, there's this one I could do without. <laughs> this one is a, like a skeleton, like it's a like a Day of the Dead kind of skeleton, you know, like a sugar skull almost. And, um, where I live, like that's a, that's a big thing, Day of the Dead. Uh, but it really, they creep me out. So I can't, I'll just, I'll give that away maybe. <laughs> Somebody would like it. It's very sweet. It was very, you know, that's very kind of them to send it, but they scare me. So let's see. And then there's just a letter that explains. Oh, it's 100 grams of each color. 100 grams. Very nice. Oh, I'm very excited. I'm so excited. All right. And I think that is it. Um, I had the best time on my friend retreat and um, I want to go and spend some time with Kippy next. Um, I haven't gotten to spend time with her. Uh, I haven't been up to uh, Lubbock in a long time. So maybe next semester she'll have some time out. I'll, although next summer we're supposed to be traveling together. And so I guess that could be our retreat. I'm very excited about that too. I enjoy that. I really, really enjoy just sitting and stitching and sewing and talking. And it was just wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. I was glad she got to come down. I was sorry that her allergies were so bad the first two days. Um, it's just, it's a rough season down here right now. So 
anyway, all right, well, I think that's it. My husband should be getting back. He went to school to get his lessons all together. Um, so, okay, so after this, I will put the, um, add the clip with my daughter where she talked about her stuff. And then after that, I will put the giveaway drawing and um, then I'll come back and say goodbye. All right, so let me pause this and clean all this up and I'll get all that done. All right, Flosstube, here is my segment of me and my daughter. All right, let's see what you've done this since we've talked to you last. Well, this one I forgot last time. Here, put this one. Uh huh. There you go. Kind of. Oh, isn't that so cute? I don't really have too painted it. Too many. I don't know. It doesn't See, say. It doesn't say. This is so. This is needlepoint, which is what she likes the best. So, mm -hmm. she got this at the Tim Smith's wife. So, what have you done the the green on it? You're upside down. I started from yeah, because I started from the bottom. So I've done okay. up to about here, all the way across, and then I kind of just have gone up the side. Perfect. There. Perfect. That one. You see? I haven't gotten to see it yet. Okay, keep going. I'm just some looking. needles on my needle minder. You're fine. I also picked up. Two oh, it looks really good. Yes. Little house needleworks. Needlepoint. Needlepoint. Uh, what do you call it? Like canvas. Canvas. Mhm. Mm That's one. And then here is the second one. I didn't even know Little House did needlepoint. Oh no, you keep going. They can okay. hear me. I didn't know Little House did needlepoint. Wendy said it was new, so. And it looks just like their cross stitch, so yeah. it's really pretty. It's pretty. I like the colors. Mm -hmm. So I also can it up for both of those. Or is it silken ivory? Mm -hmm. All silken ivory. I then also kitted up this Cotton Pixel Stitcher's Cat. Can you boop? Or no? Yeah, just watch the glare. Yeah. yeah. You can kind of see it. There's a lot of beads in this one, which I did not know when I picked it up. I just saw a cat <laughs> and was like, yes, I want that. So fortunately, all BNC basic floss and then vanilla navy bean? Vintage. Vintage navy bean. Lakeside linen. That's everybody loves lakeside. It's really pretty. It is very pretty. So I believe that's what the pattern calls for. And it's 32 for. count? Yes, 32 okay. count. And are these the beads for it? Yes. Okay. I believe the entire cat is made of beads. Oh, so really? So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. So, like, if you look at it, I haven't really pulled the pattern out yet. So Go these ahead. are all Mill Hill glass beads. Oh, this is cute. to see those. It is just green for the eyes with for the cat so I'll have lots of extra mm -hmm. uh, green beads and then black for the cat and then what there's the like red. Little, I wonder if it's in the tomato. Yeah. Or in the collar. It's hard to tell. I don't know. I guess so we'll figure is, it out. This is up close. So you can see the the cat. That's really cute, Kels. Isn't it? It's really cute. I like that. All right. Is that all you have for us today? Yes. I've started working on my mom's Christmas present. Unfortunately, I cannot Yay. show you that one <laughs> until later. Once it's I really receive cool. it, I'll show it on here. <laughs> it's really cool. It's got some really fancy stitching that has to be done. <laughs> All right, well, she's gonna go help my husband do some stuff and me repot some plants. So I'll be back in a little bit. 
Okay, so here is the um, drawing for the sampler stitcher button from my last video. So I've already entered button as my um, keyword and I'm gonna pick a winner. Sherry Rudder 6035. It says sampler button is nice. Loved seeing your video. Congratulations, Sherry. You're my winner. If you will just email me at the email that's in the description box below, uh, uh, send me your mailing address and I will get this mailed out to you. Thank you so much to everybody for entering. Okay, this is a little while later, so I'm in my working outside shirt, so sorry about that. Um, I wanted to come back and just say goodbye and thank everybody for watching my video today and to offer up another giveaway. And congratulations, Sherry, if I remember correctly, because it's been a few days since I drew it, um, for winning the button. And um, again, if you'll just uh, email me your mailing address, I will get it mailed off as soon as I hear from you. Um, my email address is in the description box below. Today's giveaway is going to be a Hands Across the Sea uh, tote bag. They're a really nice size. And if you enjoy samplers like I do, they're just beautiful. But I have so many. I'm just like, I have too many. I've never used them. Uh, they've just been hanging in my closet. So it's time for it to go to a new home. And this one is... Margaret Ferguson. I'm assuming it's the same one. Yes, on the front. And then again, here it is on the back. So it's the same. And it's red. Love red. So if you're interested in winning this, then let's say you just say bag in your um, comments. And I will draw again in two weeks. That's gonna be in November. Okay, I'm gonna to have to pause. I'm shaking you, sorry. I'm gonna to have to pause because you're sitting on my drink. That's how you're propped up right now. I have to look at the calendar. I didn't do that, I should have done that beforehand. So just give me one second. Okay, it will be November 3rd. So if you're interested in winning the Hands Across the Sea Margaret Ferguson bag, then just say bag in your comment and I will pull a uh, draw one on November 3rd. So that is actually daylight savings time when I looked at my calendar. So note to self. So in two weeks, I will draw for that. Um, this coming weekend is our carnival and hopefully my grandson will be coming and my son and his wife. So I'm very excited about that. And I guess I'll talk more about that when I video next time. Thanks again for watching and um, until next time, Floss Tube, be kind to each other. Bye.